Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Data Over Ego. Today is going to be a short one. I'm just going to show you how to create your pixel and how to place your Facebook pixel on your Shopify store. So one thing that you're really going to need to do before is if you haven't yet, uh, create a business Facebook account. And then once you do that, just business.facebook.com. You already have your Facebook login, your Facebook page and all that set up. Uh, once you have that made, you'll be able to create your business account. And once you have your business account set up, what you're going to do is you're going to go in business.facebook.com. And once you're there, what you're going to do is you may have the new interface where you may have like nine boxes. I still have this little hamburger menu. Either way, the menu is going to be in the same spot. Click on that menu, use the drop down, use all tools. And then underneath, uh, it's usually underneath assets. Oh, there it is. Measure and report. Uh, underneath measure and report, go ahead and click on pixels. And then what you're going to want to do here is uh, pretty simple, right? Uh, the page will load. You're just going to want to do add new data source. So you're going to do Facebook pixel is what you want. So we're going to do test pixel. Then if you want, you can enter a URL here. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, but let's go ahead and enter our URL there. We'll go to continue. Now this is where it gets confusing for some people. Uh, you can use a partner integration, you can manually add the code yourself, you can email it to your developer. You don't need a developer, you're using Shopify. This is gonna be super easy for you. What I want you to do at this point is just click on cancel. Once you click cancel, it brings you to this page. So here's our test pixel. Then here's our pixel ID. When you hover over the pixel ID, it's gonna prompt you to copy text to clipboard. So all you have to do is click on it and it's going to copy that uh, that ID code for you. That way you don't have to type in all these random numbers. So you just click on that, and it's going to copy it. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to your Shopify. Here's one of our stores that we started recently back in November. Um, started off pretty quick. Uh, we went from $0 in sales to, I don't know, $800, $1,000, and now it's doing roughly 500 bucks a day. It's just a little print-on-demand store where we sell some bracelets. Um, but what you're going to want to do is you go to your Shopify admin page here on the left hand side of the screen, go to online store, once you go to online store, go to preferences. Once you click on preferences, this is the page that will come up and here's where you're going to put in this information. Now we should have this page filled out more for SEO purposes. So don't worry about that. If yours is blank on this page, I highly recommend you putting in the name of your website here and then some descriptions for search engines to pick up there. Uh, we haven't done that yet. Uh, just because it's mostly driven, this store is mostly driven by uh, Facebook and Instagram ads. Um, but so here, this is where you're going to do. You already copy and pasted it. You're going to click on here. Uh, you won't have a code in there, and you're just going to paste that in there, and then you're going to click Save. So we already have a pixel on this page, so I'm not going to save it. Um, but that's all you have to do, and your pixel will be placed. It'll be paste, placed correctly, um, and you'll be good to go. Then from there, what you'll have to do is create your Facebook product catalog so you can run dynamic product ads. And I'll be doing that shortly. I've had a lot of people ask me to create that video. So I will create that video next. But I hope this was helpful. I will link the video to creating your product catalog to run those dynamic product ads below in the description. If this was helpful for you, if, if you enjoyed it, uh, probably wasn't too enjoyable. I don't. I can't imagine this being too entertaining. But if it was helpful to you, I'd really appreciate you know you leaving a comment saying thanks, uh, you subscribing. Um, but until next time, uh, thanks for joining me. I'm Jacob Chandler, and this is Data Over Ego.